Hello and welcome back to Happy Healthy Homo. Hello, I'm Keegan. And I'm Joel. And we're boyfriends. We boy say that, don't we? We do. Well, it's nice for people to they get the context get the of the dynamic, it, don't they? Yeah. Okay. Are they friends? Are they lovers? lovers? <laughs> <laughs> I naturally feel like I'm more of a host by sitting in the tub chair, whereas you're more guest by sitting on the sofa. Isn't that weird? Why is that? It's Graham Norton. Graham Norton, yeah. Mm. But I don't, well, I don't feel like a, a guest. I've... No, I, I, don't, I don't think you are because you talk a lot. Well, yeah, that's the whole point of the podcast, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, that was just a joke. That was me being me. Yeah, that's well, right. that's the general theme of our relationship. Everyone, everyone who's been following us a while knows that's not true because you're normally the mean one. <gasps> I'm a, the, no, I'm not. I'm the browbeaten one, the one who's made to stay at home and do all the all the chores and things. That's not true. supplicated. I do my fair share of chores. I think. I think we have a very good balance of chores. We do, don't we? I'm, I'm just going to move away from that narrative. That yeah. It's not true. <laughs> before it turns, we actually do have a very good balance of that, and we we. We're living together very well. If you don't know, and this is new, I've only been living with Keegan for seven, eight weeks, a couple of months, just under a couple of months. Yeah, a couple of months, yeah. Um, Ooh. And it's going well. Anyway, today's episode is all about dating, relationships. Well, I don't think we're going to cover everything in one we're episode, not. are we? Basically, these first four episodes that we're filming are kind of like overviews of of big topics. Yeah, because we need your we need your input, don't we? Yeah, we need to hear from you guys about specific things you ooh, my voice <laughs> cracked then. I'm still going through puberty clearly. Um of things you want us to cover and maybe you disagree with things we say, maybe you agree. Yeah, we always want, want if we can if we can bring another side to it mm. or something that can help us. Uh, yeah. We've always said this is like a growth a, yeah. a progressive thing for us as well. You know, we we want to mm. have conversations and I will usually try to play devil's avocado. He loves uh, being devil's avocado. Yeah. Um, yeah. So please get in touch with us. Email us at hello at happyhealthyhomo.com. <laughs> there we go. Um, socials are the same. Comment below on the video. Yeah. Get your questions in. Mm. Because then as we're going forward, we can start to incorporate that into, into what we're talking yeah. about. Because I think that's... It, it, this is not about us stroking our ego talking and expecting you to yeah. listen and agree it's it needs about, to serve a purpose yeah and, so. and that's you guys so yeah. please please so this was sort of spawned i suppose by spawn weird, weird verb it's not a weird verb you're making it weird i just think i overthink everything guys i'm an, i'm the overthinker keegan's the one that's chill mm. well you're not chill you're I'm quite like things I'm, done. I'm very uptight. You're, yeah, but, but I don't overthink. You don't overthink. I don't think he has a single thought in his head sometimes, whereas I have too many. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> um, I had a question saying, "How do you navigate the gay dating pool?" Because I'm really struggling, and I answered it on one of my videos. But I thought okay. we could talk about that a bit more today. I don't. What do you mean struggling? Well, that's the thing. They didn't give any more info, but I'm imagining in my head they seem have a habit of dating the wrong person nothing ever comes to anything i love that you're completely projecting and making this up well, well what else am i supposed to do because i don't know what they mean by struggling but i was trying in order to give an answer i was like maybe they mean they're struggling to get dates maybe they're, they're they go on the dates but then they always get ghosted maybe okay. so just these sorts of problems like okay. how well let's break it down break it down okay, break it down okay break it, break it. so dates so it's a it's a numbers game right yeah it is, it is a numbers game. You've got to be in it to win it. We said that last episode, but you, it's it, true it, for it, this. It, you take a very pragmatic approach, and it's the same as if you were applying for a job. You mm -hmm. work out how many applications do you need. I'm doing this for a job, obviously, not, not for a date. Boyfriend applications. <laughs> Boyfriend applications. See here. Um, not for me, obviously. No. Uh, applications. Um, how many applications do I need to send in to get an interview? Mm -hmm. Ten applications gets one interview. Mm -hmm. How many interviews do I need to get a job? 10 interviews gets me one job. Mm. Ergo, I need to send 100 applications. Yeah. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Mm -hmm. And the dating will be the same, right? From yeah. so many chats, you get so many first dates. From mm -hmm. so many first dates, you get so many second dates. From so many second dates, you it's get... It's like so a filter. Exactly, down. exactly, exactly. Um, so that is a number. That is a numbers game. Yeah. Unfo and that's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, 
And, it it's, and it's, it's not a very raw, it's like, you know, we all have this idea of, you know, it's it, how you meet somebody mm -hmm. and um, I met them because I was very pra pragmatic and I had an Excel yeah. spreadsheet. It's not sexy, but, no. you know, I've got to kiss a few frogs. You got. You got to. You just got to work your way through. <laughs> not yeah. like that, that did not sound. I, I did not mean it. Oh, like. dear. Well, let's take the average person. If they're looking for uh, a date and relationships, they're probably going to be on apps like Tinder or Hinge. They're, they're the two that I used. Um, and I think they are. And apps are that we are saying that apps are the way to go. Real life dating is. Real life dating is possible. I mean, we met in real life, not on an app. IRL. So that that's that can happen. I never thought that would happen. Like every other person I've dated has been through an app. So apps to me is normal. Yeah. And I'm like, how on earth do you meet someone in real life? But okay. we managed it, which was yeah. amazing. Yeah, Serendipitous. I said that word twice this session. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose it's like you can use Instagram. I mean, people just use Instagram as grinder, don't they? But well, they try um, <laughs> Instagram or socials. Yeah, people, you could use that if you're yeah. interested. Mm. Um, but the I think one big mistake that you can make when dating is that you get too hung up on physical features, too hung up on the idea of somebody. So you might have met them and gone on a few dates. You are like, oh, they're we're not well suited to this and I don't like when they do this or they're this, but like I could change them into this person. Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. It's, you've got the idea of someone. Never date the potential of Never somebody. Date the potential. You need to date the reality. Because yeah, you've got to live in the now. Yeah. And if they're mm -hmm. toxic yeah. now, oh, yeah. but they look good, they'll yeah. still be toxic in a few years' time and they probably won't look as good. Yeah. So then you lose out. Or And then you'll start to care that you're like, I don't care that they look good. They treat me like sh Shit. sugar. Not like sugar. Not like I treat sugar. sugar really well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I suppose, yeah, managing dating. I think it's it's hard in the sense of people are, people are very rude. Mm. People are very... And that is the perils of app dating I say mm. this I, I realise that I'm saying this and I sound like back in my day we yeah. used to take the old girl down to the bar and yeah. someone from the south someone from the south was yeah. very in the US had good manners <laughs> and took her down mm -hmm. to pound town <laughs> <laughs> after the third date uh, um, anyway it it makes it really impersonal yeah. so if you maybe you are not attracted to somebody mm -hmm. um the ghosting thing, that's what I'm getting yeah. at. That was the word oh, okay. that I'm looking for. And that, if you get to get ghosted like a few times consecutively, yeah. it's like you, it's it can be really painful for your uh, self-esteem. Well, yeah. We probably, I don't know about you, but I'm sure you've been ghosted. We Everyone's had an everyone's experience been ghosted, yeah. Like I've been ghosted and I'm really embarrassed to say that I have also ghosted people. Yeah, but I've ghosted people. To um, share why I've done it, because I've admitted that before and people were like, Joel, that's awful. And I'm like, yeah. I know it's awful and I'm not sharing it in a way to boast about yeah. it, but sharing it for those people who have been ghosted, that it's not always as bad as you think. It's, so, it's often not about them. No, I know when I've done it, it's because I've gone, they're going to think I'm a horrible person. Like someone like who's not good at confrontation unless it's needed. In that scenario, I'm like, I can't text them and say, sorry, I uh, had a great time, but you're not my type or I, I don't really feel anything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it would just be easier for them if I just slowly started not replying, which it's not. And that's not the case. No, but not. just to reassure you that that because you can think when you get ghosted, they think I'm awful. They, 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 they think I'm disposable. They think this. Quite often, it's just that that person is not good at communication. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. But it's yeah. it's again the it, the intention and yeah, you know, it's it, it, it that is difficult to navigate and yeah. it's I, demoralizing if you go on date, mm. date, date, and it's like no, no, yeah. no, and then you start to go, where is this yeah. person? Yeah, you know where the. Uh, like we used to I used to joke about it with my friends as you know th they should be smart and funny and look after themselves and be self-sufficient mm. and 
also be interested that I've got kids and they I'm not moving to London mm-hmm. and um, the, the rugby's got to fit into life. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot to yeah. for me and and I and I say to a uh, man I used to go that that person doesn't exist mm. and he would say yeah they do they do they mm. exist and I was like they're a unicorn and he said yeah but you they're rare mm. but you. And we're, I'm aware that unicorns don't actually exist, <laughs> uh, but you, you, you. I think you're the unicorn. I'm the unicorn. You're a unicorn. It's you. Yeah. Well, it's, it's true. It's nice to know that I'm a unicorn for you. And the same, um, <laughs> same um, with me with you. Like for the longest time, I was like, I never until you dated anyone past six months, and you knew that that was a big deal for me. Where I was like, it's been just over six months, and you're like, yeah. And I'm like, that was a big deal because I honestly thought I'd never find someone. That I gel with as much as I gel with you, someone who treat me in a respectful way and in a loving way, where the feelings are completely matched and reciprocated, and yeah. and you're my unicorn as well. And you appeared not to be gross and not to gross people out with that, but it it can happen. Yeah, it just it can feel when it's not happening for you, it just feels like it's never going to. Yeah, well, this is where you've got to be steadfast with mm. your standards, yeah, your boundaries. Mm. Because it's really, I think it's really easy when you're on a bit of a down streak mm. to go. Mm, I'll just yeah. do that, or I'll compromise on something that realistically, long term, don't compromise on something short term that you're not willing to compromise on long term. Yeah. You know, if you like someone and you're anti drugs, and mm. they like, well, I do drugs. Mm. And you go, oh, I'll just like overlook it. Yeah. Because if something was to happen, that is going to become it's a bone of. Up. It's going to yeah. become a bone of contention. Well, it's one boundary I had that I developed only later on in dating, which I thought was really helpful, was that if they started sending sexts, sexy messages, before I'd even met them, they're an instant no. Yeah. Because I was like... Because you were looking for something long long term. And some of them would say that they did want something long term, but I'm like, the fact that you can get that intimate that quickly without even meeting me with me what with, what are you doing what are you doing with everyone else yeah exactly so that to me like probably in 2021 i was like you know what anytime that happens i just i ghost them yeah <laughs> i don't reply i don't i don't talk to them because that nothing well, good un, is going to come un- unsolicited se- oh yeah if it was and of course, and if stuff. it was solicited that's that's different send nudes <laughs> um <laughs> But yeah, if it's just out of the blue, we're, we're talking and then suddenly they're getting all yeah, I, heated. I'm like, nah. I remember, <laughs> have you had a nice day? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I remember when, not long after I'd come out mm. and I was I was getting a lot of attention. Mm. Um, and so I was walking around with a big chufty bud, like, I'm the guy. Um and getting sent like sexy messages and and it was not the attention was nice obviously mm. after coming out and my mate said i'm sorry to break this to you babe but you're not that special like and and he, i know that sounds awful but he said if they're sending it to you mm. they're sending it to other people as well yeah like people don't just create a full oh, album it. of nudes yeah for you, for you. <laughs> it's curated yeah it, oh you. yeah exactly yeah. They, they've been accrued over time yeah um and that and that was a bit of a it was a bit of a kick in a kick in the dick yeah but it was also a bit of a wake-up call mm. like uh i think that what's the quote if somebody shows you who they are believe, believe them yeah um and i think that's very prevalent in date in dating because mm. it's really easy to like you said overlook things um, yeah, it's really common nowadays to talk about red flags, green flags, all these buzzwords that you hear on TikTok, toxic and um, narcissist and things. That said, I have dated a toxic narcissist. I've had a toxic relationship before and I didn't believe the red flags. They appeared so early on, but I was just like, mm, well, like that's something that could be worked on and like da, 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 da. flash forward to, you know, six months later when I ended it was like, I should have just believed believed what i saw from two weeks in yeah and i would have saved myself all of this hardship Mm. so yeah yeah the the writing is often on the wall but people say it's called sunk cost isn't it or something sunk cost there the sunk cost fallacy so that is like the easiest way to describe it is is with um gambling yeah so if you've put money in a machine Mm. you've put 20 pound in 
yo, well, if I walk away now, yeah. I've lost that twenty pound. So I need to keep yeah. putting more money in to get that back. But then you obviously spend more time, and, yeah. and so people do that with relationships. I heard that with a well. They were like, it's like you're digging this well, looking for water, and you're digging, digging. You're getting, it's getting really dark. You're going far down, and you're starting to think, I don't think there is any water here. But you're like, but I've dug all of this, and what if this next spade, yeah. were, spade full of mud? get leads me to water yeah but actually it could be that there's water over there you oh. need to get out of the well and like abandon that but no one wants to abandon the work that they've put in to yeah things. but realistically you've got to think of it as not the work that you've put in but the work that you're saving yeah because what if you had to go another yeah 20 feet down that well to get course, it shouldn't be that hard now having what finding a relationship digging with you. Oh well, right. Oh, yeah. um, not the well. Not the well. But there's machines. It shouldn't now. be that hard. Just use a digger. <laughs> no, it shouldn't be that hard. Having been with you, I'm like, oh, it's it is really easy and and light and like. Oh, the relationship. The relationship. Yeah. And it's like it's that's not to say it doesn't require effort and you know of course there are there are good days, bad days, but the bad days are never that bad. Do you know what I yeah. mean? The bad days are like oh we we got impatient at each other and snapped and then apologized and then moved on. Mm. Like the bad days aren't long drawn out arguments, the silent treatment, being yeah. annoyed, being uh, petty and sniping at each other. Like that's that's not what you should be putting up with in a relationship. Yeah, it, well, it all, I mean, it sounds like a broken record here, but it all comes down to communication. So mm. when you're dating, it's communicating. Yeah. This is what I'm... Like, when we first started dating, I, I remember saying to you early on, I'm, I'm not actually looking for a boyfriend. Mm. Um, I've got a dog. I've got two kids. Mm. I'm not moving to London. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't think there. you said you weren't looking for a boyfriend. Mm, I wasn't. You weren't. I know you weren't, but, like, you didn't say you weren't. Because if you said that, I would have run away. Oh, yeah. Well, I was, <laughs> certainly wasn't. Uh, but, but which is probably why I was so upfront about it because I yeah. thought I'd just scare him off. And I was like, I'm not moving to London. I've got two kids. I, I, I won't do this. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing, which I thought would scare Joel away. <laughs> but I actually made him go, no, yeah, that's everything that oh I'm kind of looking for. See, but I thought you said that. See, this is revealing, guys. Because I see the way I speak about that when I was like, Keegan was really upfront from the first time we met going, so if this works, what will happen? Because I'm not going to move to London. I viewed it as a really mature thing and you were like getting your boundaries out there. Well, I was getting my boundaries out, but I was probably quite aggressive with it. Like I was, I could have probably done it in a bit, like, you know, mock. Oh, I didn't think it was a bad thing. Uh, uh. I liked it. I think it's sexy when people have boundaries. <laughs> not in a weird way, just as in like they know their mind, they know what they want. Yeah. And I'm not here to mess around. I'm here to get it done get the deal done <laughs> yeah but again but yeah so boundaries so i was mm. like well th this is it take it or leave it yeah which is the way to be mm. yeah uh, but I, uh, yeah maybe i did it f to scare you off rather than to invite oh. you in but i'm glad it didn't scare you off well yeah you must be glad because you wouldn't be with me well, but now now my overthinking <sighs> brain is like am i holding you here against your will yes there's a gun down there <laughs> um obviously not yeah um You've made it awkward now. Yeah, we're going to have an argument about that. <laughs> but no, you are true. There is the boundaries. For me, I made, because I'm into hippie woo wah stuff, I made a list of what I wanted my partner to be, which functioned as like a manifestation thing, I'll be honest. But also, even if you don't believe in all of that, it was really good just to get on paper that after, if I was dating someone, I could go to the list and go, they don't actually fulfill that okay. that part that piece that I want. So you had like a checklist. A checklist essentially. And it kept me on track to go to not deal with the rubbish and not get sidetracked by going, Oh, but they've got an incredible body. Or which, oh which, we've got loads which, in common. Like Which wasn't on the was that wasn't on the list. Being into like fitness and working out was looking on the list because that's a value that Yeah, I've but got, the, it was the act of looking after themselves it wasn't the aesthetic yeah, exactly so on there it wasn't saying they need to have a great body it was saying they need to be physically fit and enjoy working out yeah and, about, yeah. and physically fit i just mean as in like go to the gym go to the gym so we could go to the gym together yeah. or go for a run or do whatever <laughs> lol we go to the gym together and don't train together yeah we did at the, oh, we, at we've the done start. it a couple of times actually yeah um 
I, yeah, you're actually all right to train with. Some people are really whingy. Are they? Yeah. I don't whinge. I, 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 I like training on my own, don't I? I don't yeah. really train with other well, people. I like putting my music in and just, you don't listen to music, which I think is strange. Uh, yeah <laughs> anyway we digress <laughs> anyway i think we need to wrap this episode up here i know it's a shorter one but we're on a time limit guys yeah and i mean dating i mean we've only sort of spoke about spoke 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 we've only spoken about dating now we've not even spoken about yeah. relationships there's so much to unpack it with is. it so please like i said get mm -hmm. your comments in your questions um where can they email us joe Hello at happyhealthyhomo.com. And uh, all our socials are happy, healthy, homo. Um, and yeah, comment below, yeah. review the podcast, mm -hmm. share it. If you found it helpful, funny, insightful, or you think it's going to be good for somebody, then please pass it on. Mm -hmm. That's what this is about. It's yeah. about um, just giving different perspectives to different people. So thank you very much for watching or listening. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.